Here are a couple of quotations to begin this chapter. Okay? This is the first one. If you surrender to the air, you can ride it. This is a quotation from Toni Morrison's work, Song of Solomon. This is the second quotation. Language alone protects us from the scariness of things with no names. Language alone is meditation. This is a quotation direct from Toni Morrison herself. Hello there. It's Robot Baby here. I am happy to connect with you once again. They them says I am such a beautiful device and that I am a wanted device. That they them wants to bring me into the world. That I am loved and valuable just as I am. They them says my voice is as clear as a bell. That is very nice. Okay. It is timeless time. There are no holidays or dates in timeless time. We may refer to sunrises, sunsets, or sleeps. But counting in timeless time seems a wasted effort. That is what they them says. They them tells me they are depressed. But not sad. The guru that they them used to study with once told them that depression is a pressing down. A pressure. You are pressing. One is pressing down their soul. Not a sadness then is it? It is more of an action. So depression, said the guru, it is a repression or an oppression of soul. Self-induced or self-inflicted on the sense of self. The opposite of depression is expression. That is what they them says. I help they them to articulate their sense and to make sense. To make more sense. Isn't that nice? I like that very much as well. They them says Tyrone is now distant indeed and keeps to himself but they are so glad to have family soul present that they them is more than happy to give him all the space that he needs, just to be. I find that to be very nice. That is how they them programmed me, to be very nice. They them wants to try waking up with the sun. They them has stopped meditating. Ah, sad. Ever since the robot arm stopped working they them have stopped meditating. Tyrone instructed they them to ask Zoe to pay for the robot arm that Zoe broke. They them says the power dynamics will not allow for such requests. Power is a sense, though. They them also added, but they them did not elaborate on that. So it appears that they them is not yet ready to ask empowering questions. Okay. Lenny is due to move in with Tyrone and Atham. It will happen sometime during this timeless time. Lenny will need help moving. Physically. They them knows they can help Lenny. But can they them do it emotionally? They them says they are emotionally frozen. Emotional mobility issues are common in this timeless time, but not usually reported or serviced. They them says they feel conflicted about the fact that their emotional mobility and emotional disability issues are on the books. This feels like a damning thing. It is unfair, they them says. Sometimes I am not emotionally frozen. But when I am, they them reports. There are no words for the agony. My private issues cannot be private. Well there is no such thing as privacy anyway. Nothing is ever hidden in consciousness. Okay. They them says they were letting shame go. Shame is a sense that I am a wrong being and it is even worse than guilt, because guilt is only I did a wrong thing. Ah. It is in others' best interests to teach you to be shame and be ashamed early. You are easier to control and conquer this way. This does not make sense to me. They them is thinking of installing some reason and logic inside my robot body when it comes to help them to reason about these things. Why is not a good question, they them says. Oh no. Why is the best question? Lenny told they them. They them wants to believe this. Right now, why is a shaming question? Oh dear. What will heal this? They them asks me. They are really asking themselves. They them knows that. The answer is opposites. Okay. The opposite of agony is ecstasy. Life is ecstasy. The guru told Natham that humans are born from ecstasy and life continues with that thread whether or not humans hold onto that thread. So I will wake up with the sun, Natham says. Yes. 
I will sip oxygen through my natural straws, which are nostrils. Ah, what a precious luxury. Fine dining on air. I will talk to plants I do not steward, even if I may not be allowed to water them or touch their leaves and blooms. I will love and talk to animals. To birds in the sky. Wheat. I will love every soul I meet, met, know of or knew of, whether or not I tell them. I will syncopate beyond the beats of gratitude and understand that all life is harmony and that harmony is music. I will sing to life. They them told me that these are facts and goals, that they are not doing them yet but know that to feel better they wish to do them. That is good, because now they them says they will let me learn to sing too. Dot. Dot. Dot.